What's up, guys? Are you guys ready for boot camp? Just want to make sure you have a mat, sneakers, water. That's it. And yourself. You ready to get in this groove? Let me get the jams going for you. And let's rock with this. Hi, guys, everybody. Tuning in live. I got two lives going, so don't mind me. <clears throat> All righty. So we've got full body boot camp. We're going to do the best we can to make those work in the space that we all have. All right, guys. So follow along. Let's start off. Feet are just going to be right outside those hips. Let's start to go for big reaches up overhead. Nice, big stretch. And think about reaching towards that top corner. Take these for eight, six. Good. Let's take it to a twister or cross, reaching towards the opposite wall. And notice that I'm giving you a little step touch with this. If you want more, add a little hop and push. Push is totally optional. Good. Abs inside. Take these for eight. Four more. All right. From there, we're going to get into alternating jabs. So I want you to think of squeezing your fist nice and tight. And using your booty to help you push that jab. Drop the shoulders. All right, let's take that with your right arm. Eight counts. It's eight. Six. Four, punch and hard. Three. Good. Left side. Eight counts. It's eight. Six. Four. Three. Let's take it back to that right arm. Four count jab. Four. Three. Good. Left side. Use your legs. Good. Now double. Two right. Two left. Repeat that. You're going to bend both legs. I want you to double time sprint. One, two. Good. Hitting as hard as you can. Get a little lower in those legs. For four, three, two. Good. Inhale out. Big stretch. Take it slowly. Release down. Again, inhale. Lift tall. Good, exhale, lower. Take that a little faster. And this is for you to just kind of let go of any tension in your upper body. Bend your legs nice and deep. Fire up your quads and your hamstrings. Drop the shoulders, lifting through your chin. Two more. All right, you're gonna hold the next one low. Just start to pulse. Now as you pulse, I want you to think hamstrings parallel with the floor. Hands will come to prayer on your hips. Tuck your booty though so your tail's flat. Let's turn profile just so you can see. Neutral spine to start here. And bring your chest forward, booty back. Toe rotators, take your toes. Turn them in and out. So this is where we start to work the hamstrings as well as your glutes. Keep your abs in nice and tight. And we'll get into a little bit of a squat series coming up next, so just continue to flow with the moves. If at any point you need to shake it out and jump back in, do what you gotta do. More and more, for four. Good, you got three here. Two, now you're gonna keep your toes parallel. Just take it down an inch, up an inch. So you're essentially in a full squat position here. You wanna think about your booty going towards the wall behind you. Uh, stay nice and tight. All right, perfect. Now your right leg, we're going to take a curtsy cross behind and then come parallel. Just that right leg. Curtsy. Good. Let's take that a little faster. Single counts. Cross. Return. To your left glute here should feel some heat. We're going to switch sides. Slowly start. Same thing. Left leg. Curtsy cross back. Return. Again, nice and easy here. And then when you're ready, hit those singles. Cross. Return. Really try to drive your back knee towards the floor. Four. Three, your own pace. Two. Awesome. Now from there, come to your squat. Alternate. Lift your right leg. Stand up tall. Lower. Let's switch legs. Lift the left. Stand up tall. Lower. Take those to singles. Squeeze. Return. So here, try to avoid falling over. Yeah. You want to stand nice and tall. I'll give you a little bit more profile. Think of driving your hips forward and then pushing your hips back. Dynamic work with your levels here. Heartbeat's going to wrap up a little bit. Remember, this is boot camp. Getting a little cardio. 
body weight strength training as well. Four to fluff. Four. It's three. Two. The next one, hold it low. Walk your feet in. Right foot, left foot. Walk it out. Right foot, left foot. Again, slow. In, in, out when you're ready. Let's double time that. In, in, out. We're going for lower body burn on this. Now, if you're cool with the walk, stick with that. If you want more, we're going to take it to a jack in and out. In, in, in. Option to reach your arms up. A little extra fire in that upper body. Good. Breathe through this. Four more. Four, three, two. The last one. Shake it out. Good work. Quads definitely felt a little heat. If you need water, let's grab a sip. So that was to warm up lower body and your cardiovascular health. Next, bring it down on your mat. Working a little bit of that upper body and core strength. So let's come to the back of your mat here. Follow along with me, okay? Obviously, you're in the comfort of your own space. Do what feels good for you. If you prefer to watch first, then follow, you can. Or if you want to dive right in, just move along with me and we'll get the flow going. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, roll down. You're going to take it to an inchworm and then four plank jacks. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, walk back. Inhale, stretch up to the sky. Exhale, back down to work. So that's your flow. To modify, alternate four toe taps. And then take it back and stand up tall. You're going to crush that for a minute solid. Let's get down to business. Three, two, one. Let's take it up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, roll it down. Get that inchworm. Four jacks or toe taps. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Walk it back. Stand up quickly. Recover to stretch. And then dive right on back down to work. Cool. Bring it back in. All right. So keep moving, okay? If you see me stop, it doesn't mean you stop. This is your workout. As you're working, I always like to do a lot of timed intervals. That way your goal is to go for as many reps as possible. You're about halfway mark on this point. 30 seconds in. You still have 30 seconds to go with this one move. So go for as many reps as possible. Make sure in our planks, a few things. Booty is down. And you want your hips and your shoulders square to the floor. And then bend the knees, recover at the top, reach up nice and high. 15 seconds, then you're going to stay down on that mat. We're going to get into a push-up with a rolling side plank combo. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, find your plank. Walk your hands wide. If you need support, thighs can rest down. Combo you're going to go for is a push-up, open up rolling side plank, and then switch. Hit the push-up, rolling side plank. To modify, knees can always go down on that push-up. And then bottom knee, top arm can extend. This one we're going to work for a 45-second interval. Let's get down to business, upper body, core, and leg, leg strength still. Three, two, one. Let's get an inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Open up to the side. Hips high. And then come right back to your push-up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Stack that hand to the middle. Find your side plank. Make sure you're not twisted. Hips and shoulders square to each wall. Now, if you need more in that side plank, another variation, maybe top leg lifts, and then you come right back to work. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. Take it up to the top. Whoop, lift, and then lower. Continuous flow, okay? A few things you're thinking about in your push-up. Zip through your ribs. Pull your belly button to your back body. Squeeze your glutes so firm and so solid. You got 10 seconds left on this one. Push up. Think of your heart hovering, of course, what? Above the ground. Give me one more, then you're out of this one. Up to the top. Good. Take it to your child's pose for a moment. Roll the wrists. Wag your tail. Release your back. All right, we're going to down dog up. Tuck those toes. Plank your hips up. Pedal your feet out right and left. And then bend your knees, walk your hands back to your feet. Shake it out. We're getting started. Cardio. Let's start jump rope here. One, two, you got 30 seconds. Now, to modify, you can go for alternating toe tap. Or if you want more, double ups. Double land it. Double land it. Double land it. Keep flowing with that. Again, 30 seconds. Squeeze through your fists. As you're taking your double, try to make sure you get those unders right underneath your feet. Imaginary jump rope, but still going for the same effective push. 10 seconds, then we're going to get into your next move, classic jumping jacks, which will be a 30-second interval as well on that clock. 
Three, two, one, jumping jack. Take it up. Modify, side step, or spice it up, star jack. Like I said, your pace, your level. Always try to think of working with that progression, starting with that lower impact, building to an intermediate level, and then if you're like, you know what, I need that push today, taking top notch to that most advanced. You're gonna get breathless. This is where we're pushing into our cardio portion. Our goal is to rev up our heart rate, and then also finding those periods to recover when you get the breather. I'll let you know when you have a breather. Keep pushing. Three, two, you're gonna get into a boxer shuffle. Tap your feet right in front. Now with this, I want you to imagine there's a bullseye right there. You're hitting the middle of that bullseye. Okay, this move is gonna be your home base. Stick with this boxer shuffle. Let me explain what we have coming up. A four move circuit, basically four exercises. Stay in your boxer shuffle or follow along as I demo. Move number one, you have four moves of one, four moves of an, uh, another move. First one is a hand clap for four with the knee to chest. Three, two, one, then side skater for four, three, two, one. So that's move one. Move number one, hand clap for four, skate for four. Three, two, one. Let me give you move number two and then we'll try those, okay? First round, we wanna get the moves. Move number two, starting from a lateral lunge, right leg bent, left leg straight. You're going for a zip in, lateral out, knee driver up, lateral return. So feet together, feet wide, single leg balance, return. Let's start slowly, let's just go for that first move. The hand clock for four, skater for four. You're doing two rounds where we're gonna work all four moves at 45 seconds. I only gave you the first two moves. And then we'll get a breather, and then we'll tackle all four moves at 30 second intervals. First move, hand clock for four, skate for four. You ready? You can always march instead of the jump. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Skater side to side. Four, three, two, one. Back to your hand clock. Four, three, two, one. Skate it out for four, three, two, one. Once you're ready, go for it. Four, three, two, one. Skate it. Four, three, two, one. One, you got this, okay? So this first round, on a scale of one to 10, your effort is somewhere around a six or seven. It's not full out, but it's definitely challenging but doable. I always like to use those two things as a gauge. Challenging but doable. You got eight seconds, then we're gonna get into that lunge set where we start with our feet apart. Right leg bent, left leg straight. Meet me there in three, two, one. Right leg bent, left leg straight. You're gonna go feet together, step back out, then single leg balance return, starting slow. Let's go for it. Zip, open, balance, lunge, okay? So zip, open, balance. Let me turn a little profile so you can see. Right leg is, uh, left leg is straight, right leg is bent. Both legs are bent. I open back up to that lunge. I stand up tall to balance. Now on that single leg balance, you have the option to take it to a hop if that feels good. Or just stick with finding your center. Continuous flow again, still working in that 45 second interval here. You're gonna feel the heat mostly on your left leg and your active work on the right side. Five, four, last three, two. We're gonna do the same move on the other side. So starting this time, left leg bent, right leg straight. Three, two, one. We go zip in, open up, balance, return. Let's start slowly. Zip in, open up, balance, return. And of course, stay grounded here and then stand up tall or you stay nice and grounded here and add that hop. The hop is totally optional, but if you do want that plyometric push, fight for it, go for it. Lower body should feel the heat here. Just about at that 30 second mark and then 15 seconds to go and I'll give you move number four. Now I know the first few rounds you're gonna kind of be like, whoa, lots of combos, lots of things to think about. Whole point two, also testing your agility as well as your memorization. Our ability to transition from one move to the next also taps into that stabilization and agility. Work with it. Three, two, your fourth move of this circuit, follow along. You're gonna hop up, you're going for a spider herpy. Right knee to elbow, left knee to elbow, right back up. 45 second interval, then we're gonna get a 30 second break. Ready, three, 
two, you got this, let's go squat, take it up, up, take your plank, right knee to elbow, left knee to elbow, get back up on your feet, now you can take a walking burpee to modify, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, walk to stand up and reach, doesn't matter if you're hopping or you're walking, most important thing is you're working as hard as you can for this full interval here. You've got 15 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Now know that this is your first effort. You don't need to feel like a master. And remember, you're in the comfort of your own home. So you can do whatever you need to do. If you need a breather at any moment, take that breather. If you're feeling like you want to let loose, let loose and go for it where you're sprinting or taking it faster, hitting it harder. Eight seconds and you're going right into that recovery zone. You'll have 30 seconds to recover in three, two, 30 second breather. Good job. Those circuits, I'm telling you, they are killer. But it is my favorite. We are essentially working with high intensity interval training. Goal during our interval, rev the heart rate to the max. And then recovery, now you want to bring the heart rate back down. So deep breaths in through your nose. Take mindful breathing. Big exhale down. Mm. And water. All right. We're going to go for round two on all of those moves. Your first exercise, your hand clap for four, three, two, one. Your skater for four, three, two, one. You ready to rock this? Let's rock this second round. You know the move. All you have to do is execute. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ski side to side. Four, three, take those space. Two, one, back to your clap. Four, three, two, one, back to your skater. Four, three, two, one. Back to that hand clap. Four, three, two, one. Use your abs and then skate. 15 seconds down. You're already at the halfway marker. The best part about those 30 second intervals, they go quick. I want you to think of fast, fierce, and strong with every single execution. Five seconds, then we get your lunge set going. When we lunge, zip in, lunge, and lift. Three, two, right leg is bent, left leg straight. Zip it, open, lift it, return. Say it with me. Zip it, open, lift it. If you're ready during the lift to add a hop, make it happen. Press, return. Zip, open, press, return, okay? This, of course, is going to really max out the leg work, and that's good. We're helping to sculpt your legs as well as build muscular endurance. Endurance is what gets you through on these intervals. Eight seconds, then we switch it to the other side. Same thing, except this time, left leg will be bent, right leg straight. Getting yeah, ready to transition. Three, two, one. Meet me here. Left leg bend, right leg straight. Zip it in, fold it up, reach balance, return. Let's go for it, come on squat. This is the A-list flow, this is how we get down. At home, outside, wherever you are. Stay healthy, stay moving, and in grooving. Push, find the power, remember, we all have it. If it means you move slower, move slower. If it means you need to take a little bit more consciousness with your effort, I want you to find that moment right here. We have to have intention with our move. It can't be purposeless. It has to be purposeful. Meaning that you're putting a little bit of drive behind it. Your fourth move, your burpee spider plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, hit the deck. Right knee to elbow, left knee to elbow. Right back up, up, hit the deck, slips. Remember you can walk it out with this. Walk it up, lift, walk it down, return, slice, slice. Most important thing is we're still actively working. You're already at your halfway point. You literally have 10 seconds, then you will get a breather. You gotta work for it though. It does not come for free, remember that. Finding that recovery in three, two, one. Amazing job. How do you feel? You should feel good. Get some water, hydrate. We're gonna tackle another big circuit like that. I know those are not easy, but guess what? You're still tough. You gotta be tough in these moments. We all do. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We can only control what we're doing today and what we have going on. Make the magic happen for yourself. Alrighty. Back into your boxer shuffle. Find your home base, which is this move. If you're not into the shuffle, give me a step touch. Just try not to stop moving. All right. Four move circuit. Our second circuit. Same thing. Two rounds. Move number one. Four side kicks for four, three, two, one. Then fast feet. Four. Three, two, one. My neighbors love me, right? So I kicks for four. Three, two, 
one, and then running out for four, three, two, one. Okay, that's move one. Move number two, we're actually gonna get down on the mat. We're in the core, you've got four bicycle crunches. Four, three, two, one, roll to sit up, roll to lay back down. Then back to your bicycle. All right, while we're down here, let me give you a move number three. You're gonna be in a plank, you got commando plank. Down, down, up, up. And then from there, rolling side plank, right? Then switch it. Down, down, up, up. Rolling side plank left. Move number four. Classic, regular fitness lunges with a double pulse. Pulse for two, come up, switch. Pulse for two. Ready to get down to business? Remember, all four moves, 45 seconds. Side kicks for four, fast feet for four. Move number one on that clock. Let's rock. Three, two. Make it happen at home. Let's go. Kick it. Four, three. Lean away from it. Two, then fast feet. Run it out. Four, three. Pick up your feet. Two, back to your side kick. Four, three, two. Back to your fast feet. Four, get the booty low. Three, tummy in tight. Two, side kick. This is waistline work. You do want to think about your hip and your rib connecting. Your body in the kick should be like a pendulum where you lean away from it. 30 seconds down, 15 seconds to go, squad. How are you feeling? You should feel invigorated. If this is challenging, good. If this is easy, pick up the tempo. Push yourself harder and know that with every single execution, you have to give your best. And if today you're just like, I just need to move and groove, that's fine too as well. Life is a roller coaster, we clearly see that. Hitting our next move, down on the mat, bicycle crunch for four with your sit up. Hold back, sit up, on that clock. Three, two, one, drive the bike. Four, three, two, one, sit up tall, lay back. Four, three, two, one, sit up nice and tall, and then bring it back. Remember, one knee to chest, one leg long. You could keep your head back with these two out of five. You could sit up and then lay back, okay? Goal again, as many reps as possible. Think of two, when you roll back one vertebrae at a time, and when you sit up one vertebrae at a time, so you're being gentle on your back body. You've got 30 seconds down, 15 seconds to go. Now we're gonna sweep your legs back at that point, but I still need you to drive that bike nice and fierce, really reaching to the sky, rolling back. Constant breathing, last one. All right, legs are gonna swing back, commando plank. So down, down, up, up on the forearms, and then rolling side plank. Three, two, one, let's get it. Down, down, up, up, open up. Modified knee to knees down. Down, down, up, up. Press to lift. Bottom knee can rest, top arm and leg extend. Now at this point, everything's going to be shaky, shaky, shaky. It's fine. Remember that you're already on the clock here, so you're still moving. Even though I'm coaching you, this is your workout. It is up to you to push. Self-motivation can be hard, but that's also why we're here doing this together. Live action, real time, full out, and full body blast. That's what our goal is. Keep working through this execution. Keep breathing. Keep your core tight. Woo! And as it starts to get harder, where the muscles feel fatigued, who cares? What's life if it isn't a challenge? We're here to be challenged so that we know we get to the other side and can be better. Try to be better with it. All right, last move. Double lunge pulse. Up on your feet. Right leg will draw back. Pulse for two, come up, switch. Start slow with this one. Long interval with this basic move. Double pulse, stand up, lift. Now if you're like, okay, come on, I need more minute. Pulse for two, hop. Pulse for two, hop. Pulse for two, switch lunges, basically. Okay? Now those, of course, form is everything. Lunge form, two 90 degree angles. Back heel elevated. Your front foot, make sure that your knee and your ankle are in line. Don't let it buckle forward. Water break is coming. Almost there. 20 second push in this moment. I want you to get those knees lower. Chest is still upright. And also watch your booty in the back. Tuck your hips. Woo! Leg burn is real. <clears throat> Last eight, seven, six. Ab side, chin up. Four, three, two. Rock it. You get a breather here. 30 seconds, get your legs together. That means deep breaths. Go for it. Breathing in through the nose. Big exhale out. It's my favorite types of workouts. Why? Because it gets everything ignited. Top all the way down is in full body blast. Cardio, which remember too is a muscle, 
your breathing and your cardiovascular training is also how you strengthen the heart. So let's work for that strength. Starting from the top, exercise one, side kicks for four, fast feet for four, 30 second intervals. Let's do it. Three, two, one, side kick, let's rock. Four, three, two, run it out hard, four, three, two, kick it again, four, three, two, go get low, jiggle that booty, four, three, two, right back into your kicks, okay? Beauty of round two is you're like, oh, I know what the move is. You know what, this is where you find that prep, you take the reins, run with it. Meaning you're going as hard as you can, you're getting the kicks higher for sure this round, and I need powerful kicks, no weak, wimpy ones. You create the power, I can't do it for you. You are in charge, own your moves. Bicycle crunches with your roll back, down on that mat, let's get it going. Three, two, one, have fun with it, let's go, crunch it out. Four, three, two, one, sit it up, play it back. Four, three, two, one, sit it up, play it back. Come on, how many can you get in this round? When I'm bicycling, I like to think of my feet almost hitting a target. Every single time they hit the middle of the target and you finish your extension and draw the other knee in. Last three, two, find your plank, commando plank to rolling side plank. Let's go. Three, two, one, walk it down and up. Down, down, up. This time, maybe we add that leg lift. Or if you're on the knees, you modify. Bottom knee rests down, top arm and leg extend. Let's get it. I know this one is going to be where you have to buckle down. There's going to be moments where you're going to be doubting yourself. Ain't nobody got time for self-doubt or negative thoughts, especially in this crazy world. We have to push to be better. We have to continue to push forward no matter what is going on. And if you ever are having those mental roadblocks, those negative thoughts, just breathe. Let go. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to give yourself a second if you need it. I think for the next two, three weeks, however long this lasts, we're all gonna be giving ourselves a moment. It's okay, be gracious, be gentle, but still continue to push. All right, on your feet, lunge pulse for two. Fourth move, three, two, one, pop it or walk it. Lunge, pulse, I'm gonna go switch lunges. I'm gonna drive that back knee to the floor. I'm gonna try to keep talking through this, but let's know that that's a challenge. Focus on posture. I always like to imagine that I could balance a book on my head. That way I'm not hunch, I'm not compromising my posture, I'm just going for a perfect posture. However, your posture sets the tone, it's how you carry yourself, it's how you present yourself, it's how other people will connect with you. And remember, that impression is everything. Three, two, one, you get a breather. Catch your breath, deep breath in through the nose. We are almost there, guys. We have a superset left. Superset is gonna be two exercises. Exercise A, exercise B with back-to-back -back intervals where we get little rest in between as possible. Still working 45 seconds each interval and then 30. But this time there's no break in between until you finish that second set of 30. Move one, you're gonna be going from the floor to standing. Follow along, mountain climber or knee jocks for four, three, two, one, get up on your feet, high knees, four, three, two, one, and then right back down to that plank. March it out if you need to. Hold the plank for four counts if you need to. Move number two. Little space you want side to side. Lateral shuffle. Three, two, one, hit. Three, two, one, hit. Three, two, one, hit. Cool? Okay, back to back efforts. On this first round, scale of one to 10, take it around a six or seven. Don't match yourself out. Three, two, one. Find that plank. Alternate knee joggers or mountain climber. Four, three, Two, one, hop or walk up on your feet, high knees and marches. Four, three, two, one, right back down to that plank. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, right back on your feet. Four, three, two, one. Once you're ready to rock and roll, let's go. Climb it back. Four, three, two, one. Get up on your feet, high knees. Four, three, two, one. Handle your business here. This is where you have a moment to really buckle down and show off. You're gonna be working with progression, of course, because you know you have a second round. Three, two, lateral shuffle side to side. That's it, shuffle it. Three, two, one, hit. Three, two, one, hit. Quick feet, three, two, one. How wide can you go? My little partner, we make this work. Where are you at? Stay grounded in your shuffles. Push your hips back. And try to think of almost walking on your heels. 
This is where we gotta find that inner athlete. We all know we had it, or pretend you're a kid at the playground. Enjoy it, flow with it. 15 seconds, stay still in that fluid pace. You gotta slow down, slow down. But it's a can't stop, won't stop mentality. That's something you gotta learn to channel. Yes, you're gonna have moments where you're feeling exhausted. Yes, you're gonna get breathless. But are you gonna get through? Yes. All right, second round, mountain climber to high knees. 30 seconds of work. Get down on the mat. Three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Get up. This is your finisher, guys. A minute of work. That's it. And we're done. Back down. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Get up. Four, three, two, one. You got to make yourself proud in this moment. And it's up to you to make the magic happen. I give you the guide. I give you the framework, the foundation. You build upon it. All right, lateral shuffle side to side. Last 30. Three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Hit. Stay low. Move quick. Move fast. Move fierce. Keep your flow going. Keep your attack. Where's your game face at? Don't ever lose it. You got to stay focused. You got to stay in that zone. Woo. Last eight, seven, six. Come on. Rock with me here all the way to the finish line. Don't back down. Three, two, one. Done. We did it. Oh my God. Catch your breath for a moment. <laughs> we'll do a quick cool down and you'll be good. So enjoy your day. 30, 30 minutes. That's all you needed. All right. We're going to take you to an active hamstring stretch. Extend your right leg. Flex your toes. I know you're still catching your breath. Deep breaths again. Mindful breathing in through the nose. Exhale out. All right. Stretch the hamstrings. Right leg out, flex the toes, inhale, reach down. Exhale, trace the fingertips up. Start to flow with these, totally your own groove, your own move. If you ever wanna hang in that forward fold, or think chest to thigh, you can. Hamstrings are what we're decompressing here. And also lengthening through your back body. Okay, from here, if you need to grab onto something, hold on. Quad stretch, grab your right foot, pull the heel into your sit bone. Watch here, you're not straight on that standing leg. Soften, so you can really tuck your heel to see. Don't arch your back, tuck under, tighten that right cheek so it's firm. Cool, other side, same thing. Grab that heel, pull it in, hold it on nice and strong. All right, feet go wide, center lunge, drop it low, push back on the inside of the legs. If you wanna twist, press that right shoulder forward, maybe lift your right heel up, increase the stretch. Got to give that body the love and recovery after putting in all that hard work. Switch it. Maybe pop that left toe. Perfect. Forward fold, grab opposite elbow, sway for me, release your back. And this should feel good. good. Let it hang loose. Now that we got all sweaty, just let it flow. All right, bring it center, palms to the floor, walk your feet in gently. Soften the knees, roll it up. We're going to take your hands up one last time to a prayer. I want you to look up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower that prayer to the middle of your chest. And find your heart. Hands are coming to that heart, guys. The next few weeks are going to be unpredictable, but you can be in control of this. So now that you got all nice and sweaty, I want you to grab your phone. Take that sweaty selfie. This is my training program at The A-List Flow. So make sure you tag us on Instagram. Give us a follow. And then also subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. I will be sharing these live workouts every week, obviously, or for the next few weeks. And then also, too, I do have a live training program that you can sign up for. I'm giving you an offer 50% off you'll get off of your first month. So that's half off of the program. Five new quick effective workouts every single week that are put right into your calendar. And I can basically be your trainer via an app. So right now, these are the options that you got. Make use of it. This is not an excuse to compromise your health. This is an excuse to get creative and find other ways to be social and can still continue to connect. All right, clearly I'm breathless. Time for me to go have lunch. I love you guys. Again, follow me at the A-List Flow. Share the love, definitely promote it to your friends. Let them know that they can still get their sweat on. Because look at this, this is for real. We are listening. You put in the work, I'm proud of you today. I'm your trainer, Amanda Robinson. Thank you so much, crew. I will see you live soon. Peace, much love.